Okay, so what else have you got? Oh yes, this house is only just started with introducing. So basically this level introduces a lot of Dante's core abilities and moves. So after this mission, he's gonna be a lot more capable and it's gonna be great. Again, I hear a lost soul, but I don't know where. So we did get a copper key, I believe, so we should be able to open this. Here we go, another arena. Or a secret mission, if you will. Let's go. Kill all enemies within the time limit. Simple eradication. Indeed. Look at that beautiful water-drenched hellstorm in this pier boardwalk. I love it. I love this environment a lot. Here we go. No problem. And another health fragment is ours. And the loading screens I'm keeping in, it's cool. It actually shows like the crazy amounts of uh, depth you can get into the combat. All the crazy combos and different weapon switching. Holy shit. <laughs> Didn't hear myself talk there for a second. I, I thought I heard you. You can't hide from me, buddy. Thank you. Now, Lost Souls cannot be cheese. They have You have to get right up close to them and melee them. Um, that is the reason why they can make them a, a secret and a collectible, because you have to get to them. We've got to get out. Now! Hurry! Come on, quickly! So things are definitely getting kind of strange. Apparently, whatever demonic force is hunting Dante has found him inside of this limbo. And Dante definitely wants to know what's going on. Seems to be an older woman in distress going this way, so we have to find out. Do I have an upgrade available? I do. We have a couple things available, actually. So now the ability is now that we have the demon devil mode we can get demon invade. So if you're in devil mode and you invade at the last second, you get extra uh, damage. Not something that we're actually gonna use too much. It is useful, but I still just need to cook up the good old rebellion. So with that, we're gonna get the, I could get the, the last level of overdrive, but since I would like a new move, let's get the stinger, which covers a great distance and it's very useful. And it's very cool looking too. So that's always fun. As for items, we have a thousand red orbs, skull orbs, soul orbs, whatever they're called, and we can buy a health cross, which is an instant health increase. Bam. Now the next one, I think exponentially like goes up. So it's gonna be 2,000, then 4,000, then 8,000. So it gets up there. Um, again, we can't get into this angelic stuff. But having more health, that's like an extra two hit points, or maybe one hit point in Nephilim. So that's useful. Especially in a game where you're not really meant to get hurt too much. Is that... Mom?
love you, Dante. Fucking demons. we have the angel mode Dante the next weapon you, style get after down there cover the doors move so now we got devil mode angel mode and then human mode and angel mode oh. is get away from me get away from me is more or less uh crowd control and look, we can open this angelic tendril now by breaking it up with the sight, which is Osiris. I'm not sure what the spiders are. They just are like little red orbs. They're just for experience, I guess. I don't know. Same thing with these postules, which is funny because even though they look like they're worth a little bit, they're worth like two red orbs, which is like pretty meaningless. I don't get that design, but eh, what can you do? Things are really breaking apart now, jeez. Still, this place has more to show us. Ah, uh, no problem now. Very nice. The, Os the Osiris Scythe has another ability. The more damage you do to enemies, the it feeds off the, de the demon energy and becomes even stronger. So, something to keep in mind as well. And I don't think we can reach this spot. No. Again, you can't get 100% completion rating the first time through the game. Which is something I didn't realize. Alright, what do you have for us? Other than arachnids. Huh. Looks like some sort of flower. Some sort of majestic flower that's sparkling. Well, let me uh, break open these... Let's see, look, I mean... That was two That was two red orbs, and it was, like, kind of hidden and in a way. Like, what the... What's the point? A blue rose.
And we're back in this realm of sorts. And this time, we're gonna get the angel mode of this claw. The Ophian Angel Claw, and this is arguably the more fun of the two claw weapons. It allows you to pull yourself towards things, as opposed to pulling things towards you. Very cool, and will be used for the environment and platforming challenges quite a bit, if I do say so myself. And what's also fun is that you can not only with the angel ledges, or whatever these are, pull yourself towards them and traverse the area as you see. Nice. nice. You can also pull yourself towards enemies, as demonstrated here. Now that is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty trippy and it's really fun. It's just fun. It just looks neat and it's and it's just it's it's fun. It's fun to do, I'm not gonna lie. So let's try it out. It will bring us right up to these guys. Really cool. <laughs> knock you right out. And that's an instant kill. If you knock even the strongest enemies, if you knock them out, they will uh, die. It doesn't matter how strong or how uh, heavy of an enemy they are. It's pretty cool. Whoa! <laughs> now that's weird. But yeah, like I said, they can you can combine the two as well, and it can get really trippy. And, and they do do a pretty good job of, of giving you that effect. All right, let's break another chain. I remember. I remember my mother. Her name was Eva. She gave this to me. I had a brother too. We were a family. I had no idea of the danger we were in. Demons found us. When they broke in, I saw him. She gave her life so that we could escape. I will never forget what he did to her. 
Our father, Sparta, took my brother and I away. He separated us. It is safely amongst the humans. Wiped our memories to protect us. That's why it all went black. Until now. Told you it's a lot of plot information, and we can see that Dante was living peacefully with his family, and the demons found and ripped her mother's heart <laughs> straight from her body and had them watch. And then his father, Sparta, took them away and hid them amongst the humans. Guess we're not human after all. And wiped our memories. I think we need to get out of here. I'm getting out of here. When you hear this music, this menacing tune, it, it means that you need to go fast. Don't worry about anything else. Twin brother. And I've been looking for you for a long time now. Our mother gave these to us. I think she knew that this moment would come, that we would find each other. And our father, Sparta, vanished forever. A fate worse than death, they say. He's never coming back. I want to know more. Where we come from, what happened to us. And above all, I want to know who's responsible for all this. Alright, that's more than I can ask for, is getting Savage with barely any abilities to do anything. And still, with style points, I still got the sensational style points. It really just depends on, I mean, I don't know, I, they said it's about damage, but it's almost like if you vary your moves more, you get better points. But I, it could just be about damage, but varying my moves seems to be the best way of getting that, in my opinion. I don't know how I got an S in time. I really took my time walking around, but there you go. Completion is always gonna be a killer for my score because I can't get half of the things. Like there's another key and another door that we missed. What on earth? But no items used in depths is always nice to have. So two upgrades, that's great. We are going to upgrade indeed. And as much as I wanna check out these other two weapons, it is important, important to get Rebellion up to snuff. So. We got Stinger, level two, which increases the lunge distance even more, as you saw. And finally, my one of my favorites, Trillion Stabs. A bloody flurry of lightning fast stabs, indeed. So we need one more to get that. I wanna get Overdrive level two. I wanna get both roulettes. And uh, actually, I want both Aerial Raves to get more damage and Hacker level to get more damage. And then we'll move to other weapons. Although, Double Up is really awesome. And so is uh, Rake. No, raise. No, yeah, raise is good, and as is, yeah, there's a whole bunch of things to get, as you can see. Arbor has the same amount of stuff. Well, actually, it's less, but all depends on what you want. Okay, 
that does it for mission two and probably this this does it for part four um next we'll be going to bloodline where dante now wants to find out more about what's going on with his past and who is responsible for all of it so i will see you guys next time thanks for watching see you guys later